Rishani and you are watching Rishu Raj Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve one important question from real numbers. We can say one most likely question. Most likely question means which is expected for your exam. And this question is nothing but prove that root 2 is an irrational number. We have to prove that root 2 is an irrational number. So now without wasting time, let's start this proof. It's very easy, very simple, interesting and important. So this is going to be a short and sweet video. So please do watch this video till end to understand this proof properly. And one more thing, please don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you will get the regular updates of such useful videos. So now let's start with this proof. What we have to prove? We have to prove that root 2 is an irrational number. Now, whenever it is asked to prove something, okay, usually what we do, we start our proof from the given information. And with the help of the given information, with the help of some concepts what we have learned, we reach the proof of that sum. But sometimes we don't get the right way that how to start with. So in such sums, we use contradiction method or we can say assumption method. So what is this method? Here what we have to prove root 2 is an irrational. So here what are the possibilities? So root 2 is either irrational or it is rational. Now we don't know how to start with. Okay, how to prove that it's irrational? So let's consider or we can say let's assume that root 2 is a rational number. So here let root 2 be a rational number. Now when we say that root 2 is a rational number, what is the meaning of this? Rational number means it can be expressed in the form of P upon Q. So, this root 2 can be expressed in the form of P upon Q. Where P and Q are co-prime numbers. P and Q are co-prime. Now, co-prime means they don't have any common factor except 1. So this is the simplest form of fraction we can say. The simplest form in which we can express root 2 in the form of P upon Q. Fine. Now if root 2 is equal to P upon Q then root 2 Q is equal to P. We just cross multiply. Root 2 Q is equal to P. Let's square it. Square on both sides. Now when we square on both sides, we get 2q square is equal to p square. Now what is the meaning of this? 2q square is equal to p square means 2 multiplied by q square is the product q square. This means this p square can be divided by 2. Means here 2 divides p square. If 2 divides p square then 2 also divides p. Yes. If 2 divides p square means 2 also divides p. Now if p is divided by 2 if P is divided by 2, there exists some quotient, right? Means if P is divisible by 2, P divided by 2, we get some answer. Fine. Now here, when we say P divided by 2 is equal to C, then here P is equal to 2C. P is equal to 2C. Fine. Now here what we have 2q square is equal to p square. Let us consider here. Here 2q square 
is equal to p square. Now what is our p here? p is 2 into c. Let's substitute which is equal to 2 into c square which is equal to 4c square. Okay. So now we have q square is equal to 4c square upon 2 which is equal to 2c square. Okay. Now here we will write like this. 2c square is equal to q square. 2 into c square is q square. Now again what is the meaning of this? This means that 2 divides q square. Now if 2 divides q square then 2 also divides q. Okay. Means when we say 2 divides q square this means 2 divides q. Now here 2 divides p 2 divides q. But what did we assume? We assume that p and q are co-prime numbers. Means they don't have any common factor other than 1. But here when we assume that p upon q is root 2, it's giving us that 2 is the factor of p as well as q. So what we conclude here? We conclude that what we have assumed is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. So here this is not possible. Okay, this is not possible. When we say P and Q are co-prime, this is not possible. This means this contradicts this contradicts our assumption. Whenever we use like this assumption method, indirect method, we have to write like this statement at the end. Now this contradicts our assumption. What was our assumption? Root 2 is a rational number. This is wrong. So here, this means if root 2 is not a rational number, means root 2 is irrational. That's it. So there are only two possibilities. Root 2, either it can be rational or irrational. We consider it as a rational number, which is wrong, which is not possible. So the only other possibility left is root 2 is irrational. It's so simple. Most important and most easy sum. So hope this is quite clear to you. Similarly, they ask prove that root 3 is an irrational number or root 5 is an irrational number. So on the same lines, yes, in the same way, you can prove that root 3 or root 5 is an irrational. So hope this is quite clear to you. Again, I repeat that if you want the updates of such useful videos, subscribe our channel. And my dear students, do share these videos among your friends. And thank you so much for watching this video.